Germany is testing a new idea for old steel. German armored vehicle manufacturer FFG has rolled out Condor, a Leopard 1-based combat vehicle that blends short-range air defense with direct fire support in one package. The concept was previewed in late August this year and then shown publicly at DSEI 2025 in London, where FFG pitched it as a fast, affordable way for Leopard 1 operators to add counter-drone and fire support capacity without buying a clean sheet platform. So, in today's video, we're exploring everything we know about FFG's Condor and what the first public showings actually confirm. Let's dive in. Condor is a multi-role support tank concept, a tracked vehicle for low, slow aerial threats, drones, helicopters, low-flying aircraft, rockets and mortars that can also deliver 30mm direct fire and optional anti-tank missiles against ground targets. Think of it as a modern, digitally cued gun system that can swap between counter UAS and fire support tasks, rather than a replacement for a main battle tank. The public rollout consistently describes the platform as a hybrid of a gun-based Shorad vehicle and a fire support tank, built on a modernized Leopard 1 chassis with added roof and side protection. The DSEI demonstrator mounts EVPU's Tura, 30SA unmanned turret with a 30mm Bushmaster Mark 44, a 7.62mm coax, smoke launchers, and spike anti-tank missiles on the show vehicle. Janes confirms the sub 40-ton class and the Leopard 1 chassis in this configuration. The high elevation gun and programmable air burst fusing are central to the counter drone pitch, letting crews shift ammunition types and rolls without lengthy reloads. Show coverage points to a digital sensor suite built around 360 degrees surveillance target acquisition, including multi mission radar for CUAS queuing, EOIR sites, and gunshot detection all tied into the turret's fire control system for automated queuing and airburst timing. Reporting also references an intended active protection fit for the turret family, underscoring that Condor's value proposition rests as much on software, sensor fusion, and timing as on raw rate of fire. These elements have been demonstrated on the stand. How they perform together on a moving vehicle will be a key item for trials. FFG says the Leopard 1 drivetrain will be replaced with a new power pack developed for Leopard 1-based vehicles. At DSEI, FFG told Defense Central the demonstrator is on a repower path built around an MTU 8V199TE23, delivering about 1,080 horsepower, paired with an updated transmission and cooling pack, in line with ongoing Leopard 1 upgrade efforts. Treat this as the reported configuration for Condor. The manufacturer's message is that a modern engine package is part of the concept and will be tailored to customer fleets. In concept, Condor closes the sensor to shooter loop against small drones and pop-up threats. A panoramic sensor set or radar cues the fire control. The crew slews to queue and selects airburst for aerial targets or H-E-A-P-F-S-D-S for ground targets. The turret's elevation authority supports top-down shots on UAS while retaining the angles needed for infantry support. Compared with legacy gun vehicles like Gepard, Condor trades twin barrels and sheer volume for programmable effects, digital queuing, and optional ATGM overmatch, an approach that could pay off if the tracking, fusing, and handoff work reliably in clutter. This remains a concept demonstrator. FFG has extensive Leopard family experience, and components like the Tura 30 turret, Airburst Natures, and Leopard 1 repowers are proven individually, but integrated performance on Condor is untested in public. No production orders have been announced. There are no published figures for ready round counts, reload under armor, or verified effectiveness against small quadcopters in complex backgrounds. Protection is described as improved versus baseline Leopard 1, 
yet formal Stanag levels and top attack resilience have not been released. Those gaps are typical at first showing and will only close with customer trials. The pitch is straightforward. Many countries still hold Leopard 1 hulls, spares, and trained maintainers. Converting part of that ecosystem into a counter UAS plus fire support layer could be faster and cheaper than procuring new build Shorad vehicles, while giving brigades a platform that can chase drones and backstop infantry with a modern 30mm gun and optional missiles. For armies facing a surge of loitering munitions and small UAS, the question isn't whether to add gun-based Shorad, it's how quickly they can field it, and whether a Leopard 1-based conversion fits their timelines and protection needs. As shown at DSEI, Condor is a pragmatic remix, an updated Leopard 1 running gear, a modern unmanned 30mm turret with airburst, digital sensors for queuing, and an engine path that promises the electrical and mobility margins a CUAS vehicle needs. The trade-offs are equally clear. Protection will remain Leopard 1 class, and a single 30mm gun will not solve dense swarms on its own. As a layer within a broader counter UAS stack, paired with jammers and missiles, it's a credible idea worth trialing. The deciding factors will be integration, sustainment, and whether FFG can prove reliable radar EO handoff and fuse timing in the field. That's what we can say with confidence about Germany's newest tank concept, based on its first public showing at DSEI. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video insightful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analysis.